throughout the years we've kind of extended it to, to other situations that's, that's kind of uh, popped up or um, that affects the visiting teams. And this year we lost the York Suburban parent uh, right before Christmas to cancer. Um, so tonight we also would like to dedicate this our match to Colleen Paulus. Um, I'm not sure if softball made it, did softball made it back. Um, Colleen's daughter Bree is here tonight, so thank you softball. Three years ago, we, invite, we started inviting uh, the visiting team to also select the charity so that we could um, split the donations with the, with the visiting team. Uh, and Dallas Town also had a loss recently uh, with a beloved teacher and assistant athletic director, Henry Schaefer. So their donations tonight will go to the Henry Schaefer Memorial Scholarship Fund. In addition, Colleen uh, worked at Penn Waste, and Penn Waste has pledged to match uh, 50 cents for every dollar up to the first $4,000. So I'm sure we're going to hit that tonight. So Penn Waste is going to add to our total by $2,000. Dallas Town, we have some other sponsors I need to thank. Dallas Town brought uh, two sponsors that gave uh, nice donations to both teams. IBRI, the in um, industrial source, and Steve Horning Insurance uh, also donated, so we want to thank them. Printostat uh, did our posters that were hanging in both uh, buildings. If you've seen them in the hallways, they're beautiful. Uh, they donated them to us. Uh, Susquehanna Apparel did our shirts, the White Ox shirts and the jerseys worn by both teams. And uh, we want to thank them especially for, um, for their hard work. They gave us a great price so that we could get a lot of profit for the charities off of their teams. Uh, and in addition, uh, Rest Haven York Nursing Home um, purchased the jerseys that the players are wearing tonight so that um, all of that profit would go back to the, uh, to the teams. So thank you to our sponsor. Um, recently, in fact, yesterday, um, this night became even more special um, with some news that affects our team. Um, and the back of our shirt um, says about life isn't what it's supposed to be, it is what it is, and how you deal with that. And um, at this time, I'd like to introduce Paul Um, who has just impressed me for the last 24 hours. I can't get him out of my head. Tomorrow, on Wednesday, Wednesday morning, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I got diagnosed with testicular cancer. So tomorrow I'm getting surgery to get it removed. I'll be fine. The, the procedure is safe. It's normal. A lot, a lot of men do it, and uh, most surgeons are good at doing the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Forty years ago, 1970. If you got this cancer, you would die. always did. So I want to thank you guys for helping those, those kids that are going to save in the future to give them a future. Thank you. So thank you so much. <laughs>